Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is the word of God as brought to you by Jesus Shelter YouTube channel and as inspired by the spirit of Jesus. The word of God, this time, this hour, this moment, this occasion is hearing God so as to drive lightly and safely. Understanding the seed of God and the nature of God so as to drive the right way in life on earth and in the next. So the word of God, we repeat, the theme is hearing God. How do you hear God? So you drive and walk and live the light way in this world so that you can do and walk in the light direction. Many a time people say, I want to go back and retrace where I lost my path. We used to sing a song when we were young in our youth days or on Sunday school. We are go I'm going back to retrace where I've lost the step. When we are using dog for hunting, the dog follow the footstep of an antelope, of a rabbit. Sometimes they lose the, the smell of the foot, the foot of the, the antelope. We have to take them back until they retrace the footstep to find where is the gazelle hiding. We used to sing a song, where did they lose the track? So I can go to the track. When people are learning in a race, in a field, during the sport, during athletics, during competition, running in a field, you have to follow the track. If you come out of the track, you will not be counted for the race. You will not be counted as one competing. Paros in the Bible used to use example and use things like what happened in the little world to bring the point home. There are two different ways Paul was using real life example to bring his message to the people and to, to help people understand. Paul in the Bible, the Apostle Paul, he used to use the common example people know, which is what the hallmark of teaching. As a teacher and as a qualified teacher and a teacher who is of high trained teacher, you must use example that students know for them to understand what you are teaching them. You must give students and I teach them new concepts using the, the familiar environment and concept they are aware. Paolo used to use things that are around people. And he used, he used to say, for example, learning in the race to heaven is like learning on, we are in a race. He was to tell them, it's like competing in a field. We are in a race and you must learn in a way that you win a crown. You win, you touch the string, you get the gold. Jesus was using parable. Jesus used to say parable, which is like a fable or a story, to bring a story home. The kingdom of God is like a, a house built on a strong foundation and compared with the one on the sun. The parable of the sower, the parable of the prodigal son, to teach and bring the point home. Paul used to use little world example. So we are in a race. And the Bible says clearly in the book of Isaiah 35, verse 10, that there is a highway, a highway that we are learning in, and it's called a highway of heaven, highway to heaven. And this highway, nobody dirty will, will run in this race. We learn in this highway. So our message as brought by the Spirit of Jesus, it is how do you understand God? So you follow the step, you follow the track. You are still on the track. You are still running in the track, in the highway spoken. In Isaiah 35 verse 10. A highway of holiness. A highway to heaven. The road to God. How do you learn so that you are in, in the track, within the track, you are not off the track. Nobody who ran outside the track is counted in a, in a race. You will not, you will be disqualified. You must run within your track and within the rain you are in. If you are in lane 1, lane 2, lane 3. How do you know, I hear God, to know when is God speaking? Am I in the light way? Those voices, those teaching, those direction, those things people are doing, are they, is this God speaking? Is this the track I should be in? Am I in the right way? 
am I driving safely so that I reach de de the, the, the destiny I'm going? You, is my GPS and a map correct? Or you are heading to the wrong direction? Am I learning in the right way? The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding. And Jesus will direct your step. I say again, the Bible says in Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind. Lean not in your own understanding. And he will direct your step. He will guide you along the way. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 105, The word of God is the lamp, tower, the lamp, the light. Lamp to our feet, and that light, and it sh and it put light on our path, so we don't go in the wrong path. We used to say, "I'm going back to retrace where I lost." Narudi, Narudi. I'm going back to trace where did I lose the track? How do you hear God? How do you know the seed of God? What is the nature of God? How can you know God? Who is God? Because the Bible say, the Bible say. In the book of the Bible say in the book of Second Peter, verse Second Peter chapter three, Second Peter chapter three, verse seventeen to eighteen. Therefore, dear friends, since you have been one or for one, you have been one beforehand. You have been one in advance. Be on your guard. That means pray and live light way, so that you may not be carried away by the error of deception, the error of lawless. Lawless, there is no rule. You can do, you can be everywhere. You can do anything. Do whatever you like. No law. Marry man to man. Marry as many times you want. Do whatever you like. Law rest time. Be on your guard. Second Peter 3 verse 17 to 18. It says, be on your guard. That means live, follow the Bible. Be alert. Be alert means play and follow the biblical teaching. So that you're not cheated by you're not cheated by the error of deception. The error of cheating. We are in the error of deception. Where people are worshipping the beast, the digital beast, the internet, the TikTok, the Facebook, the glorious technology, the freelance law. You can be whatever you want. You can marry as many times as you want. So long as marriage doesn't work, keep moving. Take another person and keep going. Life must continue. But we must continue, yes. Life must continue, yes. And the Bible says we must keep going. We must not lose heart. Revelation 12, 11. We must not lose heart. Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 3, there or 5, we say, don't lose heart, keep going. See, Jesus who was supposed by all. But you must keep going the right way. Not as marry, this doesn't work. Marry again, it doesn't work. That, you, that's not the way of going. We are saying, how do you know in the right track? That... Be on your guard. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. Be on your guard so you're not carried away. You have been warned before. Be on your guard. Follow the Bible. Follow the right way. Please listen to Jesus. Play and fast. Jesus said there are some demons who never go without prayer and fasting. People say men can live without a woman. But they are called stronghold. You need to pray those demons go. You can't live without a second a girl somewhere, a wife somewhere, as a man. Those are called demons. A message is coming for God to teach us about what is love. Because there is a difference between love and lust. You cannot see a beautiful woman and desire, ah, this one is good, I would like to sleep with this man, I would like to have, that is called lust. You, we must identify lust and love. Love you must give. You must give your time. You must be ready to support that person no matter what comes on the way. Love is having feeling and empathy and support of someone. And loving it means giving. It has to go with giving. Time, money, effort. It's not look seeing somebody and, and planning marriage because of facial appearance. That's called lust. The message is coming. What is love? Why does marriage break? Because people use the long ground to marry people. They hook to the wrong person. You must get somebody who loves you. You must get your key. You must get somebody who is yours. Not your appearance. Somebody who is ready to have companion with you. Who is ready to drive 
and move with you and have and work together in your vision in your vision in your goals of life whether you are a pastor whether you have a ministry whether you have a business you work together for common good of the whole family not somebody who want to use and take advantage of you to use you to cry whatever he didn't cry the message is coming what is up why is marriage breaking so much why does marriage not work because people marry the wrong people wrong key they marry for long reason he is so beautiful shape oh my god but remember that is a frame you are seeing td jake say it is a frame reality check when you see somebody you desire remember it's a frame it's a cup you are seeing from outside you don't know what is inside maybe dead fly inside what you see it doesn't matter how much somebody beautiful it is as martin luther king was saying in america do not judge people by appearance by the content of their character you are fighting for the life, plight of the black people and the civil life you so don't judge people by the content color of their skin by the content of their character don't desire someone by their appearance but take somebody to marry by the content of the character is this the person with the values that i need the values and a bestow under the kingdom of god somebody who even if no matter what he cannot murder you he cannot plan for your mother he cannot let children stay without their daddy or mommy for because of selfishness it is a little human with the full of humanity we normally have human light there are people who have no human light they have no humanity they take children and deprive the other parent but they don't know they are punishing innocent blood the bible say in james 1:727 the true gospel is caring for the vulnerable like orphans fatherless children are like orphans their father they are need, that means it's a fable it is they are needy they are they are high care they are 24/7 they need support from their mother and father you cannot just marry anybody don't just marry there are people who have no humanity they don't care how much children pain they go living without their mother living without their father they will do everything to use children as a remote control to, to make you do what they want to what, what they want you to do they have no humanity we must not judge people by appearance you cannot marry person by appearance a message is coming about love and lust many people their marriage are broken because of lust others women especially women marry men because of money papers they in america and children come without a base of living together and bring god bring us to the cause cause factor who made this marriage not work who was cheating who was not genuine the curse is coming the judgment is coming the bible say in isaiah 4 isaiah 51 and many bible books the judgment Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 to 3 Habakkuk chapter 1 and 2 the judgment for injustice is committed for injustice committed the judgment must come we must and know the right way to live safely on earth and in the next the word of god we must know who is god we must know who is god we must hear god when does god speak The Bible say in the book of Hosea 4:6 My people are lost because they don't know. They don't know what the Bible say. They don't know the truth of the word of God. They don't have the whole spirit of the spirit of God to show them the way. The people are lost because they don't know. They walk thinking they're in the right way but heading to hell. The Bible say there is a way that's look good to people. The book of Proverbs some there's a way that seem like to a man but lead to hell or destruction. The Bible say in John 8:32 it is when you know the truth you are free to live as a winner. You are free from being lost. Freedom bring freedom. Freedom come from knowing. It is when people knew we are not supposed to be under colony they fought for their freedom. It is when you know the freedom that you will not you live free from being lost and uh, and to live free as a winner Hosea 46 my many people are lost because of not knowing the enemy take advantage of not knowing of your not knowing of the word of god the devil does not want you to know that's why he attack those with the light 
like Jesus, like Daniel, like Joseph. The enemy does not want you to know, and we know through prayer, through living holy, you know. When you live holy, you walk with the Spirit of God. When you walk with the Spirit of God, the Bible says, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 1 verse 21 to 22, the Spirit of God is a, is a symbol, it's a seal of God that is in, deposited on us to reveal and to show us everything. The Bible was written by people who had the Spirit of God that give them, showed them. Daniel could see, others could not see because they were not holy. Elijah could see, others could not see. So was Nehemiah could see the, the, the broken wall. Ezekiel could see dry bone, others could not see. The donkey of Balaam could see an angel with a sword, but Balaam, Balaam could not see. It is the sin that makes us not to see. Isaiah 59 verse 1. We are talking about the nature of God. This, we say, be careful so you are not taken away by error of deception. 2 Peter chapter 3. God, the Bible says, is light. The book of First John, First John, First John chapter one, First John chapter one, verse five. It says, "This is the message." NIV Bible 2011. This is the message we had from Him and declared to you: God is light. In Him there is no darkness at all. If we Claim we have fellowship with him, and yet we walk in darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk with the light, he is in the light. We have fellowship with one another and in the blood of Jesus and his son and purify us from all sins. That is First John, John chapter 1, verse 5 to 6, NIV Bible 2011. NIV Bible 2011. The Bible say in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. You are the right of the world. Matthew 5, 14 to 15. You are the right of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light up a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it's give light to everyone, everyone in the house. In the same way, yet you let your light shine before others, and they we may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. We are talking about God is light. How do you know the seal of God? The God, God has no secret. There is a message here the Holy Spirit is telling us, and it's warning many. How you get the seed of Satan? How do you get the seed of Satan? Secret. Secret. You are there. You are listening to this message. You are there. You are hearing to this message. You kept secret. You made secrets with the devil. And you made secret. Remember, it doesn't matter. You thought it's you keeping the secret. It doesn't matter. It is the enemy using you. When you say, I will cheat, it's not you. It's the enemy using you. When Judas said, I will send the Messiah, the Bible see clearly Satan spirit entered Judas. Judas was not alone. He was drunk by the spirit of the devil. While Judas thought it is him. Remember, we have spoken here in Jesus' shirt about spiritual programming. We have spoken about spiritual programming. Satanic programming. Many are programmed to murder. They are not aware at all. Many are programmed to rape, to rape people, to rape women, to rape children. Other are spirit and a very strong desire of children. You see a child, you feel like sleeping with that child. And they are given them pedophile. But they are not pedophile, they are programmed. In most cases, there are people who may decide to be evil. Like for example, there are people, children, who end up being thief. They robbed bank. But when you look at the, the, the past, they were not reared in the right way by their parents. Their parents were drunkard. They were not brought up. Maybe they were adopted. So they end up having no moral. They start stealing. It's not their blame, it's their parents. But there are people who, in most cases, are, are, are more than 50% of people, you see them raping people, 
code serial killer. They are programmed, but they are not aware. Others has desire of women, of men. There are some women they can't sleep until they find some a man to sleep with to cheat for money. We have women in this world. Their work is to go with the minister, member of parliament, rich people. They never marry. They don't know their program. They are program. We see a lot of celebrity program. A lot of celebrity because the enemy know celebrity are the eyes of the many people. Many people act movie, they are program. And people can copy certain create system that favor him. People watch movie, people watch TV. But those people, most of them, they are programmed, they are not aware. They do things and people copy them. I remember when I was studying in uni, in high school, in, uni, in college, first time to go to the city to study, and people started wearing those time the tumbo cut, the, the, the stomach cut. It was rare in our time to see a stomach of a woman. But there are some, that's the time when I was in Nairobi studying, you could see a woman coming, a lady, a very beautiful lady, is wearing nothing on the stomach. And it was so attractive to men and kill men. Uh, more, uh, and men affected my men affected by sight so much. And the enemy is clever. He make women. They think it's them. Walk naked. Almost show all your body. Put yourself on a Facebook reel, on on the internet as naked to make men dirty. The enemy creates system that favor him. He he doesn't appear. Certain will never appear. You you never let you know he exists. He let you see na- good things. Jesus, I'll give you money. He give you, he show you things, but the devil does not let people know he's there. You see glorious internet, naked, grandma's things, but certain hiding movies, hiding TV. So people are programmed. They act and people copy. People have been copying until now we are in the time of rulers. The Bible says clearly, when the evil has reached its crime, uncontrollable, antichrist will rise up and force people to have certain seal. It is the time we are in. It is started by copying movie, a stomach cut, cloth, miniscar. But there's bike or do you call some things? People stop wearing women. They used to wear certain thing inside before they wear clothes. No longer they don't put that now. They just wear nothing and, and panty nothing. So it's people started copying. Now in the time now it is open. It we are in time of oh, no rock. In the time you can watch anything. So what we are saying. People are programmed, but they don't know. When you are cheating, we are talking about secret. How do you know the seal of God? How do you know the seal of God? And many people, if you are saying program, people drink, drink, they feel, I can't stay without smoking. I can't stay without a secret. But they are programmed, they don't know. It is only, Jesus said, there are some things that can never go until you pray. Not only pray, fast. You will not know. You will not know unless you pray. And you not only pray, T.D. Jack used to pray, to say, you cannot play a Sunday, Sunday service player and expect to win. You must play in your car. You must pray when she this. It is really prayer. It is prayer that brings victory. Secret. You say, I will cheat. You think it's you by the devil. Judas I will sell my misery. But it's, the Bible says it's certain enter Judas. And Peter also did not know. And Jesus, no way you can't. And certain enter Peter again. Job wife. She was not aware to a certain is in her. So was Adam wife. If no, she didn't know. But she, she made her we fall as men. He cheated first man. Now we have to work because of evil committed by first man. But certain we saw. Satan it came in form of snake. Satan came to cheat Jesus, but Jesus knew this is Satan. So we, you are programmed. You say, I will cheat. I use this man to children. I'll marry this man because of money. I'll marry this man. Uh, I had somebody saying in a YouTube video, and I felt, oh, God, her man. That, oh, I, you say, I was had married that white person. That's somebody speaking in Kenya in, in a YouTube channel. That I married that white person so that when he die, I take the house. That woman think is her, but it's the devil. You're programmed by you don't know. Secret, you certain may not speak to you. I am certain I want you to make a deal with you. 
The Bible says in Daniel 9, many will make a uh, deal with the Antichrist and in the middle of the covenant, break it. Because the aim of the devil, never, devil will never give you something for your good. When the Antichrist make a deal, it is purely for evil mission. The Bible says, because Antichrist is working for Satan, the devil come, no matter how beautiful, glorious thing, he come with remission. One, to steal you. To steal you, it's a very nice thing. It can be very difficult things. Depend. He, use, he know his strategy to use for everyone. Very good deal to steal you. Then kill you, to kill your Christianity, your power of God. They say they will break the power of the people of God to kill your power of God. Then he destroy you. You devote yourself to masturbation, to, uh, to immorality, to drinking, to mental sickness. You have been destroyed. You have worked with the people and you have seen people. They cannot live without a cigarette. Every minute they have been destroyed. They cannot live without watching pornography. They have been destroyed. If that thing you can't do without and you know it's not right, it is being, it's complete destruction. You can pray and it can go. The Bible says, and we are saying, secret. It may not be spoken to you directly. It's speaking through your mind. Remember, the whisper, the enemy whisper, God whisper. I want to hear your still voice, God. The Spirit of God, as we are talking about hearing God, how do you walk in the light highway, driving safely? The seed of God, the nature of God. The nature of God, God is light. There is no darkness at all. That is the book of First John, and we read the First John chapter 1, verse 5 to 7, that there is no darkness at all in God. We are talking about the nature of God. God is spirit, and everybody who worships God must be in spirit media. Not only in a spirit, but the spirit of God. Because the Bible says in the last days, people will worship evil spirit. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. In the latter days, many Christians, not people with the tattoo, no people drinking, no people in the club, no people doing morality, no people who are call themselves atheists, the Christian that have faith. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, they will read faith and forsake faith and start worshiping angels, her angels. So we are saying God is spirit and you must worship him, not with her angels, the spirit of God. That's the book of John 4, 23-24. Secret, the Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, before you read Second Thessalonians chapter two, let us read Revelation chapter three, chapter two. So Revelation chapter two, so Revelation chapter two. It says there were churches that knew the deep secret of Satan. How you get the seed of Satan? Secret, secret, deep secret. You can, maybe you spoke to yourself. Goeta kamo shemanyo. As people know I'm gonna say in my language, I will call myself in a meeting, my own meeting. I call myself my own meeting. Sometimes you evaluate yourself. You reevaluate and you reflect on yourself. So you call yourself in a meeting and say, I will cheat. I use this woman to get Australian or Canada or D Denmark paper. Hey, you are calling yourself a meeting. It is not you, it's the devil. So we are saying the enemy may not speak to you directly. It's through your mind. Keep in secret, it is the seed of the devil. We are saying the seed of God is light. We're talking about the nature of God. The nature of God, he is God of light. He has no darkness. Those who keep secret, remember the seal of Satan. When you talk of 66, six, don't think there will be any barcode. It is a spiritual mark put on sinners. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 that uh, the, it will be a seal of lies. You will be put a spiritual mark and after the mark is put, you will be deluded and cheated. The cheating, you may not be told by somebody by the word of mouth. Of course, there can be cheating. By word of mouth, and it can speak you through somebody you trust, so you believe the lie, or it can be your breathing the system, moving with the flow of internet, TikTok. You cheat yourself, and with the flow of the beast system, the technology, this last beast, this a beast is a system, it can be antichrist. There are so many interpretations, it can be one person, the antichrist, and there is system. Of course, every system we are in and we have been is a beast, as Daniel saw. There was Roman beast, Babylonian beast, we're in the last beast. And the Bible says all people of the world worship the beast, the system. 
apart from worshiping the real man and they worship internet, worship TikTok. Their life, what what give you up is internet. It's not God. It's, it's TikTok. So we are saying the church of the Attila. When God was speaking to the church of the Attila in Revelation chapter 2, he said they are good people, but they, they have not entertained the teaching of Jezebel. Jezebel can be even the way Antichrist will come to come with his own teaching and Satan in the last days. Jezebel here can represent Satan. If you hear Revelation chapter 2 verse 20, it, it can represent Satan. Remember, Pharaoh in the Bible represents a stronghold of the devil. Pharaoh, who holds the children of Israel hostage, it can be a desire like sexuality can act as a Pharaoh. The jealousy can be a flower. Selfishness, I will make these children live with me and make in a way that their father will never see them. Their mother will never see them. That is a selfish flower. It is a flower. It's called selfishness, flower. And the Bible says those with this flower will not go to heaven. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 to 20. They will not enter heaven. They will not see the gate of heaven. Everybody ruled by flower. You don't, you let, you, Falao guide you. It can be Falao. Another way you can say Uzziah. It's when Uzziah died, Isaiah 6, that Isaiah was called for ministry. There are so many Uzziah prevent you to be called and to be used by God. One can be selfishness. I will make these children forget this man. Make forget this woman. And I will play system in a way that the children never have time with him. That is a Falao. Remember, the Bible Falao, it was a man, but it can represent a stronghold. It can be people. Most of the time, it's a, it's a stronghold, like a desire, sexual desire. It can be desire for, for pornography, movie, horror movie, uh, car, uh, just worshipping internet, uh, celebrity, soccer. Uh, it can be uh, selfishness, jealousy. So here, when we see in the Revelation chapter 2, verse 20, it is talking about uh, he's talking about the church of the Attila. God was speaking to the seven churches. Remember the seven churches in the Bible, Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3. It is the church of today. Remember John the Revelator in the Isle of Patmos who was speaking and was, was told, I will show you what will soon happen. The church is the church of today. So when you hear the church of the Attila, can you evaluate yourself, where are you? Can you be church of Philadelphia in Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 to 12? May you be found the true church of God. The Philadelphia church that was genuine church of God. This is the church of today. Remember, the church of the Attila, they were, I nevertheless, I have, again, I have this against you. So they were, actually they were tolerating. You will tolerate that woman Jezebel. Remember Jezebel here can represent Antichrist system, this system can represent, uh, you will tolerate the following the system, the flow of internet, pornography, glamorous images, show off. Uh, it can be uh, worshiping, following Antichrist, it can be following the satanic teaching of the last days. So they were tolerating the woman Jezebel. Remember there was also, Jezebel was had bad worship. Jezebel was the, 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 the wife of, of King Ahab who was killing saints and murdering them and forcing them to worship uh, the Baal. So you told that teacher of woman Jezebel who called herself prophet, a prophet. By her teaching, she misread her servant into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. There was Jezebel who was a wife of King Ahab. It could be the one. So who also kill, killed Naboth. He was a very evil woman. So, I tell you, it can represent the, the teaching of these last days of deception, Jezebel. So they were tolerating the satanic teaching here, which is represented by Jezebel. Verse 21 says, I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she's unwilling. So I will cast her into suffering. Let's go to where we want to read. Uh, uh, so verse 24 says, that's why we are speaking about secret. And now I say to the rest of you in the Atira, to you who do not hold her teaching, that's the teaching of Jezebel. That's how I touch, I laid on top so you understand. My focus was 24 to 29. It says, now I say to the rest of in the Atira, to you who do not hold on her teaching and have not learned so deep secret or so so you have not learned Satan's so called deep secret. Remember, Jezebel, I say, represent the Satanic te teaching. They did not tolerate Jezebel teaching and learn so Satan's so called deep secret. I will not impose any of 
any other burden on you those who do not follow those teaching and secret of Satan, except to hold on what you have until i come hold on what you have until i come so our focus we are going to read 26 later when we are finishing 26 to 28 so we are saying secret you may not be told directly to keep secret Make a deal secret with Antichrist, with the system. You, you, you call yourself a meeting. It is not you when you say, I'll use this man, this woman to get papers. To get, to marry her for children. To marry this man for riches. It is the devil. Keeping secret is not seed of God. It is not the nature of God. The Bible says in John chapter 8 from verse 40 there that the nature of Satan is a lie, his native language. My native language is Kikuyu language. Everybody has a native language. My children are born in Australia. Their language, their native language is English. If you, you, are, you are born in, in, in English speaking nation, your native language is English. Certain native language and his direct is lie. And the Bible says anybody who speaks lie belongs to the devil. He belongs to the devil. So we are saying Satan is nature, is lie, darkness, secret. If you keep secret, remember, we, we are talking about which way are you? Are you in the right track? Are you going back to retrace? Where did I lose the track? I am in the high of, are you in the highway to heaven? Are you racing so that you win the crown? Winning the crown is entering heaven. Are you moving in the right direction? Do you have a seal of God? A seed of God has no secret. A seed of God has no darkness. A seed of God does not keep secret. A seed of God has no right. Because we hear John chapter 8 from verse 44 that the nature, the language, the direct, the born language of Satan is lie. His father and he's the father of it. And anybody who speaks lie, his father is the devil. That's the book of John chapter 8 from verse 44. Whoever speaks lie, his father, his parent is the devil. Remember, the Bible says in Isaiah 51, the church of God was cut off from where they belong, from their father. Their father is God. And they will be returned back to their father. The Bible says in Isaiah 35, those who belong to God, Isaiah 35, 10, they will be brought back to their father. Remember the prodigal son. He was taken away from his parents. He was brought back by God. This is a, a spiritual thing that you be, you have been made prodigal son. You will be returned to your father. If you cheat, remember, your father is the devil. We are saying, what is the seed of God and Satan? The seed of Satan, lie, cheating, secret. Another verse to show you is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. It says, for the secret power, NIV Bible 2011. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. NIV Bible 2011. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work. But one who... Who hold it back will continue to do so till he is taken out of the way. I think it's the Holy Spirit. So the secret power of the devil or the work of, work of the enemy is at work. So if you keep secret, remember which seal do you have? Which, who do you have? Who, which race are you racing? Is it route 66? Is it route higher highway or heaven highway? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, NIV Bible 2011. So this is a New King James Version, sorry. There are some verses interpreted different. I think I was to read, which one was I to read? Um, uh, let's see. So this is, let's, let's read where I am. I don't want to waste time. So second, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 NIV Bible 2011, it says, Finally be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's chin. For we, our struggle, here is our focus, is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authority, against the power of this dark world. And against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. The Bible is saying it's spiritual war. They are dark forces. Dark forces, they work in darkness. Darkness, secret is darkness. Darkness, it doesn't, you can't see. Secret, another verse supporting the same, if you keep secret, if you walk in hiding things, you walk in darkness. Remember, 
who is new which race are you we are talking about a hearing god how do you know you are hearing god remember in the last days people worship angels and we said one at the right time the spirit of god bring terrors is now we are going to bring the message in jesus youtube channel worship of angels in the last three days a time has not come for the holy spirit to tell us it's time to release this message but it will come worship of angels in the last days not angel of god it is the 15 percent angel who fell from heaven they are called foreign angel Satan is called the foreign angel the head of the foreign angel is Satan. he is a foreign angel he was in heaven he fell he fell so we are saying it is a spiritual war the keeping secret ephesians chapter 6 that the dark forces we fight the dark forces if you walk in darkness if you keep secret the the kingdom of god has no secret it is right we are saying how do you know we are talking about how do you know the nature of God? How do you know you are hearing God? How do you know you are hearing the voices of God? Because there's the voices. You can hear the voices. We are speaking. Uh, the Spirit of God will bring this message again and keeps about he worship of angels. Because Revelation 13 says, the system we are in, which is the last one. And Jesus even said in Matthew 24, Luke 21, this system, this generation will not pass until you see every prophecy. I told you. The Bible says clearly in Revelation 13, this system we are in, which is called the beast, will appear to speak. The beast, not actually this system, it says the former beast. Let me read it. So we read it correctly. It will appear to speak. Because which voices, our focus when we are reading this, we are saying, which voices are you hearing? Which voices are you hearing? Because you need to know uh, that you are hearing the right voices. Are you listening to the right voices? Whether it's a whisper. But because you are talking the nature. Secret. Voice of Satan. Darkness. Voice of Satan. Make a deal. Secret. Ouch it. We are saying it cannot be direct. It is you. You call yourself your own meeting. Ouch it. Ouch trick. I'll can, cunning. I'll do like rabbit. It may not be direct. It may come through your mind. Sometimes it may be direct from someone like Job wife, Adam wife, Judas. But sometimes it's your own mind, certain speak, whisper. Revelation 13 verse 15, NIV Bible 27 says, The second beast, it could be the Roman Empire, or a, a person, but most likely is the Roman is the system. The second beast was given power. The second beast, not the current beast, to give breath to the image of the first beast. So it's the image of the first beast. The second beast, sorry, the second beast is the current one. It could be the current at the point where it was written. The current, which is the second, like we have the first president, second president. So it's like second president was given power to force the image of president who died to speak. So it, I'm trying to speak in a way you understand. The first president who died, the current president, I'm using as an example, analogy, analogy, the first president, the second president who is in power. Assume you have the first and second. Second president who is in power, the incumbent, is given power. Who's giving him power? Saturn. To, to give breath to the first president. You saw, in, in the current kind of one, you say a ghost. I saw a ghost in a grave. The ghost, so that ghost of the president to speak. Under whose power? Saturn. So that, I say, now you understand, the second beast, which is it's not a president, it's the system. It could be a system. The second beast could be this digital system, which could be the second beast. Remember the word of God speaking symbols, metaphor. Uh, the Bible say when T.D. Jakes was speaking in Planet Sheikah in Melbourne, he was speaking about the, the, the message, ki, 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 leave it alone. 
keep it on close. He was saying we are reduced by God to metaphor, simile, parable, proverb. God speaking parable, parable. He never revealed everything. Daniel could not understand. Daniel 12. He was told, see this for a vision. See this vision. See up the vision. It is for a time in the future. So the, the space can mean a person or a system as somebody died or a system that was finished. Remember the Babylonian beast. It went away. Revelation 18 speaks of the fall of Babylon. Well, that's why you say Bible is a mystery. It's a misery. Me is a mystery. It is a proverb. It is a metaphor. Revelation 18 may mean the system. Remember, while it means the system of Babylon, also there is a person here. When you read Revelation 18, there is a person called a Babylon. A person not living light. So, the Bible says, um, Revelation 13, verse, from verse 15, that the, he, the second beast was given power to give breath. We are talking about what voices are you hearing? You must walk with the spirit of God so you hear the right voice. Remember the last days people will be guided by angels, not the angel of God, remember. The Bible says First Timothy chapter 4, the seducing, they call them seducing, enticing spirit. Daniel 11, that is to say, flattering, flatty language, very nice. You know, when men, every male has a skill, a skill to cheat the female. Every male, whether it's an animal, whether it's a human being, they have a skill to flatter with a, a female. Until they get what they want from the female. If it's especially, of course, I mean, in most cases, sexual. Sexual act. Sexual activity. Whether it's a cow, whether it's a dog, whether it's a human. They have skill. I remember also in uni, when first year entered to university. They were cheated by fourth year. And they are given a picture. They see themselves married. Living in a glorious home. And they live together with a fourth year or a third year. Let's say third year. They go with a third year. First year in uni, we are talking about the skill, nature's, natural skill given by God to every male. We are talking about sed being seduced, like men seduce women. Until women give in to sex, yet the man is not at all interested in this woman, just for sex. Using women as object of sex, not love. Women in university, a first year, they were seen like green. They are fresh. They used to be called fresher. They are not fresh, but they were seen like fresher. Somebody in uni has maybe has set up with a lot of men, but it was seen like a fresher. It's a new one. It's green. And in that year and fourth year, we were grabbing them. We talk of, in Africa, grumbling of colony, Germany, French, Britain, British, sorry, Britain. We are called French, Germany, Britain. Uh, they were scrambling for colony, fighting which country to, to take and colonize. For the year, that year in university, even now I know it's still happening, they scramble, they fight for the first years to, to have a girlfriend. And they live together like married for two years, assume that year. Two years, and the woman think, I am hardy person, this is my man. And I'm telling you, it's a lie. With the moment the fourth year hit the gate, I have finished. This woman, thinking really sure she was, this was my man, he will never ever hear a phone call. And the man changed the line and changed the number. Because he was using this woman for object of sex. We are talking about the skill Mary is given to make sure they get what they want from a female. Somebody told me in marriage it's a game. You have to play a game even in, to get even a, a sexual time with a woman. But that's not true. That's why we say people are lost because of our lack of knowledge. We should not do this gaming in marriage. The Bible say, even in sexual activity, you know, if you marry the right person who follow the Bible, First Corinthians 7, we must not deprive yourself of sexual time. In fact, it should be every day if possible. And the Bible say, you must do it and don't even fast. Otherwise, Satan will cheat you and take advantage. You will start desiring somebody there because you have been denied your conjugal right and start desiring other women. But if you are fed well, you know, go to look for food outside. The woman who knows this secret, they never lose their men. And we are saying, John 8, 32, that flatty, like that Mary used to women. I used to see, maybe you see, in, you remember those days in the village, men stay in a corner with a lady, talking, and the woman jump on the man. 
maybe on a tree and a woman drawing on the floor he draw on the floor he draw with the with the legs we didn't used to wear feet shoe drawing with the legs because of the word coming from the man uh, drawing with the legs and then jump on the man uh, because of the word nice words it look like funny what i'm saying but it's written in the bible in the book of daniel 11 32 he say those who do wickedly against the covenant those who leave god they shall be corrupted with flattery. Flattery is the same thing I'm talking about. Women who are talked to until they jump on a man. And it's a lie. They are cheated until they jump on the man because of the sweet word. Why? Because Mary, they know women's key is words. Men key sight. Men love women. Most men, it's not the right thing, but most men love women by what they see. Not what they, not the content of the woman. That's why many men find themselves in danger. Danger. Even some people have been used by couples. Couple use his, uh, a man use his wife to cheat a man. They, they get the man hard-headed. I've seen in a movie and they say, "Pay us. Why you still with my woman?" But they had to deal with the 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 men to to steal money from this tycoon. And man is pleased by a beautiful girl, but he doesn't know this girl has made a deal with the man. A deal with the man, his man. And the man take camera and then he say, pay us now. Why are you sleep with my woman? But it was a deal. Because men see, they, are, they see they desire. Women, they hear the voice, the nice talk, and they are cheated. That's why you see even Satan use women to fail men in the Bible because of the word cheating. Let's see what the Bible says in the Amplified Bible, uh, Daniel 11. Because it says sweet words. They are spoken in First Timothy chapter 4. We are talking about the nature of God. How do you know uh, the nature of God? God does not flatter. God does not sweet talk to win you, to, king, to his kingdom. It's certain. Remember, we are not joking here and saying how men are dust to women and even cow or goat. It is a serious matter. The Bible says in John 11, 32, Daniel 11, 32, Daniel 11, 32, uh, and uh, we are reading Amplified Bible, it explain more. He say, uh, Daniel 11, 32, it says, with the smooth words. This put it well. If you want to understand also, Amplified Bible, put it well. If you know the Bible, the true Bible with, that I hear is the most well written is a New King James Version. It has everything. Uh, NIV sometimes, it, it gives some verses, I don't know why. Uh, Amplified, explain more. The most credible Bible is New King James Version. Uh, if you want that Bible, people understand where it's NIV, NIV Bible. Where New King James Version is a very good Bible. On the other hand, it's speaking of difficult language. Those shall hear with. Like the way the, the lawyer speak in court. Those shall hear with. I hear with the declare. They speak like in a difficult language. So John 11, Daniel 11, 32, Amplified Bible say, With the smooth words into black and flatty and place he will turn to godlessness those who are willing to disregard the covenant or leave jesus but the people who are spiritually mature know their god will display strength and take action to resist him so uh we are talking about smooth words to win many to the power of darkness Smooth word, flat language. Remember, Satan was trying this to Jesus. I'll give you this money. I'll give you this car. This car, you worship me. That's what Satan was doing to Jesus. It will be done to us in the last days. We are saying, how do you know the voice of God? God does not flatter like this to win you. You hear the sweet talking spirit. It may come through people. Remember, don't get me wrong. People may sweet talk to you. Do let me ask you a question. Do men who sweet talk to women know a certain in them? Because these men who sweet talk to women and they, they want to use this girl, this beautiful woman, for object of sex. It's a sex. This woman is, is so is sweet, like, like chocolate. Because how men interpret women, the beauty, the way they see the beauty, the, the woman is sweeter, is sweet as he, she looks. The men interpret, and the Bible calls this last. This is not love. They see a beautiful woman. They say, this woman tastes like chocolate. It's called rust. If you have experience in marriage, it says, if you live more, you understand what is life. People are rust. They marry wrong people. They don't know. It's not their appearance. The beautiful the woman is not the sweet the woman. 
I remember the doctor in Kenyatta Hospital who was guiding me for marriage because we had to do a, a test before we married with my wife. He was, she was telling us it was a lady, and it was very serious a woman. She was telling us a woman body. It doesn't matter whether it's a white woman, black woman, an Asian woman, an Arab woman. The woman body is the same. It doesn't matter. Is a white because a white person is very sweet, a beautiful girl is very sweet. She was telling it is the same. So is the man. But we are cheated. Is the woman eh, so beautiful? We must be very sweet. Remember, as Paul was telling women, it's not appearance, it's what is in you. Paul told women, it's not beautifying yourself, think you are holy before God. Paul told women in the in the Bible. It's not your beauty. Women like beauty and God created them this way. But don't get lost. As the Bible says in the book of 2 Peter chapter 3. Don't get cheated by the system. That is the beauty. Holiness. Women, it's not beauty. It is inside beauty. Are you genuine? Are you holy? Are you praying? Are you following the Bible? What are you thinking about your husband? What are you thinking about your man? You are planning murder for this man. Are you planning to use this man for children? Are you genuinely going to church for to meet God or to show off and see people see how you are clean and to show your fashion and the new clothes you bought and to show women in the church the new hair you made? It is not the don't get lost. It is the what God can see inside you. And a Martin Ledman say when they fed the music, I am coming to sing the true music. The true music. Music is the one. Jesus, see inside our heart what is within us. Don't get cheated. So these men who tell women and grow and talk and women jam on them, do they know it's certain in them? They don't know. And the woman asks you to talk until they give in. And some have three, five children from a man, a man who had no interest. And you wonder, why did I get this man? He gave me five children, ten children. He doesn't care. He doesn't support. He doesn't say anything. Women have left as often and they have left. If you have women like this, you'll be blessed. They are good window, but they are not window. Their husband are alive. They don't support them. These men, they were not them. They were drunk by the spirit of the devil as the Bible says, uh, Johnny 32, they will be flattering with you to win you to the kingdom of darkness. This is an example. These men they don't know is the devil in them. So in the last days, in the last days, the same skill will be used just as men, they are under certain spirit, but they are not aware. Certain is in them. They are f seducing women, flattering with them until they win them for sex. They want these women as just objects of sex. To gratify their desire. I'm, des I'm desiring this woman. It's the desire. It's not love. And you know it is not love when you get children. They will never help you. That is not love. A love is I get money I say to my wife. I pay my children. Because my wife can struggle. Again. These children are me and her. Whether she like me or she doesn't like me. I must help my children. It's my responsibility. You must not give, bring your blood and leave it to suffer. That's how the devil also take people. How did the devil put food to hold? We, the Bible say, I think uh, the book of Ephesians, I think 429, it say, don't let Satan step on you. How does Satan step on you? You left a child somewhere, living in this world, your own blood, but you don't help. The devil step on you by doing wrong things. You brought a child, you never help, you never support, you wonder why, why things, I buy house, I have millions, I'm not happy because of evil committed. How do you make the devil not to step on you? Do the right thing. And that's why we are saying, if your child, you have to look after your children. So how do you walk the right way? Safe way is doing the right thing. It's living right. How do you know the seed of God? God is light. There's no darkness. If you keep secret, seed of Satan, that is no nature of God. The nature of God is light. You must walk with the spirit of God, of holiness. The spirit of God is holy. You cannot say you have the spirit of God and you have jealousy. The spirit of God does not live in a jealous place. You cannot say you have the spirit of God and you don't have love. You don't have joy. 
you when you live with your husband, your wife, you don't bring joy, peace in the family. If you have a spouse, either a man or a woman, he never allow it all. A house to have peace. A house to have a conducive environment to be livable by you as couple and your children. This woman or man has no spirit of God. The Bible says clearly in Galatians chapter 5, from verse 21 to 22, from verse 22 to 25, the spirit of God has peace. It is peaceful. It is love. It has love. If somebody has a spirit of God, he must love. A loving woman will allow children to talk to their daddy because she loves her children. A woman who loves her child, who let her children, will allow the man to have time, their children, to enjoy their daddy. A man who loves his children must allow much care of their children and children to have time with their mother. As I've been preaching in my YouTube channel, many women have approached me in Kenya. I have the two women or three women. Uh, one woman is denied right completely of her children by a man. There is no way you can say you love your children denying them right. There are so many women who have denied right their children to enjoy their daddy. There is no love. It is using children for evil. And the Bible says these people will not see the gate of heaven. See your fissiness. Galatians chapter 5 from verse 19. To 21, there is nobody selfish who will see the gate of heaven. Unless you repent and do the right thing. We are talking about the seal of God. What is the seal of God? What is the seal of God? How do you know you have seal of God or Satan? How do you hear God? How do you know God is speaking? If you made a deal, you know yourself, you kept sacred. In the last days, 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 people will be seeing people in secret. The Bible says clearly, false prophet, false Christian are the ones Satan will use to seal and put spiritual mark of Satan of evil. And the Bible says to keep the seal, to, pick, to keep the mark in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, Revelation 19, that they will reuse lie, cheat. The Bible says in Revelation 13, the Antichrist, the dark world, the dark system, the system, they use the maximum power of miracle to believe this is true God, this is true Messiah, but it's Antichrist. There are so many Antichrists. It is the miracle. The miracle is so convincing, even calling fire from heaven to keep the mark. To keep the mark of Satan is a lie. The Bible says it's only by prayer and fasting and living with the Spirit of God you know see. The Bible says in Matthew 24 and Luke 21, the lie deception will be so great that almost to deceive the true saints. Those who want to live holy, spoken in Isaiah 51, verse 1. These people want to live holy. They were stolen from where they belong. I will come for them and deliver them. We have read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, secret work of darkness. It keeps secret, that is the seal of Satan. Revelation chapter 2, the church of Thyatira, there are some people who were keeping the so deep secret of Satan. There is no way they can have seed of God. Ephesians chapter 6, we fight dark forces. God is not dark. We have read in 1 John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1, the seed of God is light, holiness, holy spirit. John chapter 4, there is a verse we wanted to read here. So, um, there is a verse we wanted to read here which is um, uh, sorry we'll come to it later but we are saying that um, we have read about second Thessalonians chapter 2 revelation chapter 2 ephesians chapter 6 about darkness the light as we are going to finish now we are talking about when you keep secret you know you made the deal in the last days, we are saying false prophet, false teachers, false Christian. They pretend. Oh, sorry, I wanted to mention about Revelation also 7, verse, Revelation 3 from verse 7. You talk about the true church. You, you, these people who call themselves Jews, but they are worshippers of the devil. So there are so many Christians who be used to see, they look like Christian. Revelation 13, 11 says they look like Christian. Lamb, two horn like lamb. But I tell you, 
they are worship of the devil. You know, the, the spirit of God have brought what he wanted to say to us. Satan use and work within. He fight from within, not without. Remember, Jesus was killed by Christian. They look like Christian, but they were possessed by the devil. The devil enter in one, whether you are a holy person. So long as you have avenue for the spirit to enter. See, the religious men in the Bible could not find a way to, to, set, to kill Jesus and crucify because of their respect, because of their title. But Satan entered one of the cabinet, one of the house, one within Jesus, Judas. Remember, Satan entered somebody within you to finish you. You must live in spirit. Satan will speak through your daddy. Satan will speak through your mom. Satan will speak through your most trusted brother, most trusted sister, most trusted friend. You must pray to see. Peter, being a ministry friend with Paul, Paul could see this is not Peter. It's Satan cheating him that we are saved through circumcision. Jesus, being God, could see this is not my ministry friend who I walk with him every day. Even when I want to pray somebody, honor me with a mighty man I used to call Peter. John, come, we go and pray for this person. It is the Peter. Jesus could see this is not my mighty ministry Mighty man, we call them mighty man, mighty brother, mighty sister. They are down, they are red, they are black and white. It is the mighty brother who was preaching with Jesus, Satan entered. And Jesus spoke and looked at him directly. Peter, it's not you. Get behind me, Satan, in my, my mighty man. You must identify when the enemy is using your crosses to finish you. So we are saying in Revelation chapter 3, it is people who look like Christians, Satan will use them. And the Bible say, from verse 7, Revelation 3, from verse 9, Revelation 3, 9, I will make those who are of synagogue of Satan, who claim to be Jews, in this case we say Christian, they claim to be Christian, though they are not, but liars, I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I loved you. So God is speaking about the true church. In the last days, God is speaking about seven churches. There are some churches who are entertaining worship of Satan. How? So God is saying, you must identify who is speaking. You must know the nature of God. You must know hearing God. When you hear God, how can you hear God? How can you drive safely? How can you know the seed of God? How do you hear God? We hear God as we finish. God has, it doesn't keep secret. We read in the book of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 14 to 15 is uh, to 18. Uh, Matthew 5, 14 to 16 that God is light. You are the light. Sorry, you are the light. A light cannot be hidden, set on a hill. If somebody is not, if it's also, you see, you see, you see, you don't say, you see, if you see something, say something. Paul saw something, he said something. He saw Peter doing wrong things, he said. The Bible say in Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 18 to 21, when we see, we must say. You see something, you must say something. You are mandated as a Christian to correct and tell people who are doing wrong things. Whether they are Christian or not, you must speak up. You must be advocate for Jesus. You must be ambassador for Jesus. So, when you are the light, Matthew 5, 14 to 16, you cannot hide. When you see people doing wrong things, you cannot keep quiet. You must do good work. You cannot say you have Jesus, yet you are, you are hiding things. Yet you are doing things that are questionable. You are doing secretive, satanic teaching. Things you are doing, it shows you have been indoctrinated and you have some teachings. Remember, the Bible says in the book of Revelation, Two and three, they were people who were entertained some teaching, not in the Bible, the teaching of Jezebel. The Bible say in First Timothy chapter four, verse one, Christian will leave God and start following satanic teaching, deceiving, seducing spirit. Remember, we are saying you must identify deception. Remember, the Bible says in Second Peter chapter three, verse sixteen to seventeen. I think Second Peter, verse seventeen to eighteen. Second Peter, verse. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. Don't get carried away and cheated. You must know when Satan doctrine, there will be enticing, enticing spirit, seducing spirit. We are saying, male has skill to seduce. 
to entice until women give in for sex and do what they want. They certain will use same strategy to win many. And another way is to spoil with the riches as you wanted to do to Jesus. So, you must know when, so we are saying churches in the Bible why entertaining satanic doctrine as we finish we are saying you must know when god is speaking you must know uh, you, when you on a hill you are supposed to collect people you can keep secret when you see something you have to say something Ezekiel say you must correct people the bible say in the last days how do you know the people with the seed of god we are finishing we are finishing we are saying how do you know people with the seed of god isaiah 11 11 we are now about to finish this message if God will, we bring this message again as a second. If God will, for it to be spoken again, that how do you know people with a seed of God? We are finishing. How do you know people with a seed of God? Isaiah 11 11. They will act as poster, banner. What is a banner? Let's take a banner. What is a banner? Because Isaiah 11 says, My people will act as a banner. They work as a banner. Banner. I think it's something like a poster. Something that people can lead from afar. A banner is a long strip of cloth. A banner is a long strip of cloth bearing slogan, design, carried in demonstration or process or hung in a public place. You hear a banner. You know a banner? You say we have a, a mission. We have a, a symposium. We have a conference. Who are going to put the banner? Who put the poster or the banner for the symposium? For the crusade? For the, for the meeting? For the party? A heading? Advertisement appearing on a web page in the form of a bar, column, box. So a banner must be visible to be seen. Let's hear what the Bible says in Isaiah 11. It is correction time. It's time to correct the church of God. It is the revival time. It's time to let the people of God come back to God. The Bible says in Isaiah 11, the same book, I will stretch my hand to see, can my people come back to me? And how God stretched his hand again to raise people like Peter, to raise people like Elijah, Daniel, Ezekiel, to bring, to build the wall like Nehemiah, to stop Baal worship, you're worshiping internet like Baal. That's how God will use them as a banner. So let me switch off the music first so you hear what, what the Bible say here. Um... Hear what the Bible say here. Um, so Isaiah 11, Isaiah 11, verse 10. Actually, it's verse 10. Isaiah 11, verse 10. It's good to read the Bible because sometimes we quote longly. When we are trained to t teach and preach, we are told, when you are not sure of the Bible verse, just say, the Bible say in Isaiah 11. Because people and certain use people to scrutinize to, to prove you are not a true Christian, you're not a true man of God, you're not a true, you're, an, you're a false prophet, you don't know what you're doing, you are spreading hearsay. They scrutinize even how you're quoting the verses. So you must be clear what you're saying. It's good to read the Bible. It's not Isaiah 11, 11, it's Isaiah 11, 10. 11 says, I will stretch my heart to reclaim my people. Isaiah 11, 10 says, in the day of the, in that day, it, when you read on top, it says, the branch of the Lord, the branch of Jesse, that the branch of Jesus, they are protection. Isaiah 11 is about maximum cover, maximum safety and protection. It says in Isaiah 11, 10, in that day, the root of Jesse, that is the people of God, Jesse here represents the saints, the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the people. The nation will rally to him. His resting place will be glorious. See, they will act as a banner. How do you know people with the seed of God? In the last days, they will be enlightening many. Before I go far, let me read Daniel 11, 33. They, they who are wise and have spiritual insight, that is Amplified Bible. This must be Amplified Bible. Uh, that's the one I was looking for before. I, 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 Daniel 11, 33 say, those who are wise. Daniel 11, 33, it says, uh, those who are wise and have spiritual insight. The Bible says in, in, in Proverbs 9, 10, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. What does it mean here? Is the wisdom of the, having the spirit of God. It's not wisdom, I'm a genius. I am the one who knows. 
like Daniel Wakme, we are the one in charge. It's not that wisdom. It's the wisdom led by the Spirit of God. It's the having the Spirit of God to see. Uh, Psalm 9, uh, uh, Proverbs 9, 10, and I read, before I read the other one, it says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. If the knowledge of the Holy People is understanding. Understanding what's going on. Understand reading the writing, reading the season, interpreting the season and times. This is the knowledge of the holy people. And the Bible see in Isaiah 11, 10, in that day, the root of Jesse will start as a banner. Sorry, we are reading, sorry, Daniel 11, 33. It says, I amplify Bible. It says, they, those, they who are wise and have spiritual insight among the people will instruct many and help them understand do you hear how do you know people with the seed of god they will be enlightening many they will be educating many they will, those who have insight insight of the spirit of god they have spiritual insight they have spiritual inspired by the spirit of god they will instruct many and showing them the right way it's also spoken in daniel 12 the same thing in Daniel 12. It says, Daniel 12, uh, verse 3, those who are spiritually wise, amplified Bible, will shine brighter in the, like the brightness of the expanse of heaven. And those who read many trusts will shine like the star. So, also, we are talking about how do you know people with the seed of God? Which seed do you have today? Which seed do you carry? How do you know people with the seed of God? How do you know people with the seed of Satan? Seducing secret darkness they don't explain what they are doing they are doing something you say what is this in the bible they don't say what they are doing they don't tell you what they are doing but you see there's some teaching there's something they are doing remember jesus was correcting people they, they, you are you are teaching you are you are, you are doctrine. they are not in the bible at the uh, washing hand is holiness why you a disciple not washing hand teaching that are not in the bible peter separating from the jews that we are saved through circumcision that is not the right teaching the people of God, Isaiah 4, verse 2 to 3, Isaiah 4 say, NIV Bible, in that day, the branch of the Lord will be beautiful and glorious. The same thing, they will be shining. And the fruit of the land will be the pride and glory of the survival of Israel. I wanted to read verse 2. So that is verse 2. They will be, they will be shining. They will be shining for the people of God. For the people, for the nation of the earth. So, how do you know people with the spirit of God? So, how do you know you have the right seal? How do you know you're moving in the right direction? How do you know the nature of God? How do you hear God? How do you know people of God? How do you know you are on the right track? How do you know in the highway? How do you know you are moving and driving in the right highway? Are you in the highway to God or highway to Satan? Are you in the highway to hell? or highway to heaven which highway are you moving in which highway are you in which highway are you in when you read isaiah 35 as you're finishing uh, let's put the finishing song uh, how do you know you're in the highway how do you know which highway you are in how do you know isaiah 35 Isaiah that 5 says, Isaiah that 510 NIV Bible 2011 say, And those who have been rescued by God will return. They will enter Zion with the singing. Sorry, no. The highway is in Isaiah 10 8. Isaiah that 5, sorry. I repeat again. The highway. Are you, which highway are you? Isaiah that 5 8. A highway will be there. And to be a highway of holiness. It will be those who walk in the. It will be for those who walk in that way. The unclean will not walk in that way. That the word of God. No dirty people will walk in the highway of heaven. Which highway are you? Are you hearing God? Who are speaking to you? Who, what voice is whispering to you? When you plan and you did what you did. Lady wafa geira mudhuru waku. Lady wafa geira mutumia waku. 
uniate wa fagaga when you plan for your people when you plan and you code yourself in your own meeting remember you are saying you may call your own meeting but it's the enemy who is parting in you when you go to your own meeting on how you gonna deal with your man or your wife or your people or your workplace or how you gonna tell your people or your whatever or especially in mari when you could yourself your own meeting what did you plan were there secretive things is there something you can tell your husband or your wife is there something good or bad who is speaking in you how do you hear god who was speaking to you who spoke in you how do you know the seed of god how do you hear the voice of god are you in the right way are you driving safe right remember the bible say there is a way that seem like to a man but leading to darkness to hell to the way of that destruction which way are you in are you in the right track remember when you are starting you are saying there is a way seem like to a man but leading to hell leading to destruction which highway are you what is the nature of the voices speaking to you are they keeping secret are they secret did you make a deal with someone did you make a deal against someone whether in a loan to take a loan on someone or satanic teaching or did you make a deal to hand somebody over to the enemy did you plan a deal to fail your brother or your sister the bible say in the book of matthew 24 rook 21 you be handed over by your brother and sister and your sibling and your parent and your people close to you the bible say in second timothy chapter 3 verse 1 in the last days verse 1 to 6 there in the last days people will betray cheat each other fear each other betray in the city there was a book called betray in the city there will be betray in the city when jesus was being killed there was betrayal in the city the city is the holy people there will be betrayal within the holy people it is the family of god that the enemy brought betrayal they betrayed their messiah ah riba shikiribika hey hey most samsona was there was betrayal in the city in samsona the enemy came through his wife his lover there was betrayal she the uh, delira betray her own lover her own husband There was betrayal in the city between the first man. The devil entered Eve and fell the first man Adam. That's why we work every day because of evil committed. They disobey the law of God to keep the floor, the center fruit holy. They should not eat it. There was betrayal in the city in the Jacob family. The brothers they betray their own second husband brother. There was betrayal in the city. There was betrayal in the men of God. There was betrayal in the in the family of God. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 9 from the family of God, from the wing of abomination, from the wing of the temple, they will put a manna pretending is a Christian to annoy and destroy and destroy the church of God. There will be betrayal in the city. People who mask a Christian with the betrayal in the city, the betrayal in the family of God, and handing over people to the power of darkness. The Bible says clearly in the Luke twenty one, Matthew twenty four, you be handed over by your people to be a slave. People will be. The Bible says in Revelation thirteen, if you to go to captivity, to slavery, to be made convict of the enemy, you in convict in captivity of God. The Bible says in Daniel eleven. They will make those who read Jesus as readers of a meaning. You will be betrayed by your own people. Did you betray your brother? Did you kill your brother? Family. Did you kill your brother? I mean spiritual killing. Did you kill somebody by planning for the destruction of his marriage so that that brother is is now doing prosmiska set, living mental illness, drinking alcohol? You made and you acted as a go between to destroy marriage of your sister. That sister now called men to help this, to help her, to help her in home, repair fridge, repair things in the house. So this for in exchange of sex, that woman had been stolen, cut off from the family of God, cut off from where she belong, cut off from God, cut off from the holiness. Isaiah fifty one, church of God, be cut off where they belong. You'll be cut off from their God. You'll be cut off from their parent, which is Jesus, sir, which is God. You made somebody to fall. You made a deal. In a secret, you know, you keep, you gone, you finish. That's the way you go. That's the seal of the enemy. Any secret you keep, either you call yourself in a meeting, either you make a deal with people to fear someone, 
to destroy someone in life, to cheat system, to cheat your own husband or wife, to use children for evil, any secret, anything you keep for yourself as a secret. Remember, the spirit is from the devil. What seal are you carrying? What seal? What highway? You're in the highway of hell. May you carry the seal of God. Walk with the light, doing light, walking with light, doing the right thing. We'll finish by the word of God. And the Bible say in the book of Revelation chapter 2 about walking with the seal of God. Revelation chapter 2, verse 24, NIV Bible 2011. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation, Revelation chapter 2, NIV Bible 2011. If God's will, we'll bring this message again because every time the Spirit of God says, this message is the one you, I want you to speak. This is the time for this message. And there is a message God has given us, you, Jesus shared with the channel, about how do you have your own heaven in the light of the Word of God. Many people commit suicide because of stress. Things did not work their way. They kill their spouse. They are in jail for it. They have been in jail. You need to know how certain uh, way make you live in jail. Many people have committed suicide. They went, they, their marriage went away, their business failed, they, they were annoyed on the bullying internet, the cyber bullying, they took Python, they live in mental illness because somebody they annoyed them. How do you bring your own heaven? This message is coming, but it has not come the right time to bring the second part of the message. There is another message coming, God is speaking to us about, I raise Falao to reveal myself. I raise Falao for my growth. God raised Falao to depart. To, to display his power. I is one, it's me who is in charge, not Falao. Not Falao is mighty machinery. The word is coming, but in the right time. So as we finish, we are saying, as we finish, we are saying, but we finish with this word in Revelation chapter 2, verse 24, NIV Bible 2011 to 29. Listen. Now I say to the rest of you in the Atira, to you who do not hold her teaching, that's Jezebel. Remember, teaching of Jezebel can represent the satanic teaching of the last days. The cheating of the internet world. Remember, everything that is not right and is cheating people is enemy engineered. Satan set system in a way it favor him. Every qualified teacher set a classroom in a way it favors student learning. Every qualified teacher must teach and make environment that is conducive. For example, window open, setting of the table is good, there is no dirt in the room, there is good aeration and, and, and ventilation, there is good communication, there is, a, a, there is a no war between the teacher and the student, the student can speak directly to the teacher without feeling, ah, I feel fearing this teacher, there is good rapport, good positive relation with the teacher, the teacher must build trust with the student, that is a positive conducive environment, every teacher must agree with the professional standard of teaching. The principle of teaching, a professional principle of teaching, that a teaching must happen in a positive, conducive environment that favor learning. The devil put an environment, just as teacher put an environment to favor learning, that allows you to do learning and build trust, and a down to other environment that allow students to build trust and seek help and communicate and be ready and be engaged. Satan creates system that favor him. He doesn't show off. As teacher make lesson, he set and the rest take over. You set the system, you set the environment, the student learn. Satan set the system so that people worship him. He make sure, for example, to be to be a, to be clear. He may it is people who do it by the spirit of Satan. I will make a pornography, I will make a pornography video, I will make a playboy video, put it on the internet, people can watch anytime they want. I will make a, 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 on a on Facebook. I really I'll put something very attractive to to make generate views for men can watch me see my beautiful body. That person is certainly using her, but he doesn't know. Celebrity when they act movie, they sing, they wear clothes that make people admire them and copy and wear such kind of things. Uh, when people watch TV advertisement or every time, most advertisement over ninety percent of advertisement is beautiful, very well wearing women, very very sexy women. Every movie, every program, women kissing each other. So the system exists in a way it favors certain and it destroy thought of men, so they live and hurry and cannot lie. So we are saying that we are saying that uh, uh, the Bible says. 
uh, we are reading the book, we are finished with the word of God in the Revelation chapter 2 verse 24. Now I say to the church of their tira, to you who do not hold her teaching. And we are saying, why I was explaining what I just said, Jezebel's teaching spoken in uh, Revelation 3 from verse 18 to 29, it is, can represent the satanic world or the system we are in that favors Satan. You may not see Satan, but the system favors Satan and people will act unknowingly under Satan's power. Judah does not know Satan is in him, nor Peter, nor Jude, nor Adam's wife, nor Job's wife, nor, nor, nor Joseph's brother, nor Delilah. Nobody knew it's Satan. They thought it's them that I will, I will do evil on this man or this person, but they didn't know. It is the spirit of Satan. So we are saying, the God was saying in Revelation 2, you did not hold. And I read now, now I'm reading. It says, Revelation chapter 2 from verse 24. And now I say to the rest of you in the Atira. This is speaking to you now. You, to you who do not hold to her teaching and, the, and have not learned the certain so-called deep secret, I will not impose on any of other burden on you. So our focus is 25 to 29. He listen now, except to hold on what you have until now. What have you had? 26. The one who is victorious. Listen. The one who is victorious. Revelation 3. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2. 26 to 29. NIV Bible 2011. To the one who is victorious. To the one who is victorious. Revelation chapter 2 from verse 26 to 29 to the one who is victorious and does not and does to the one who is victorious and does and does my will to the end i will give him authority over the nations 27 the one who will the one who will rule them with an iron scepter and will dash them to pieces like pottery just as I have received authority from the fa my father, I will also give that one, the morning star, verse 29, whoever has ear, let him hear what the Spirit say to the churches. So uh, the Bible is saying, though, if you, you win, you'll be made victorious. The one who is victorious will be given authority over nations. You rule them with an iron scepter and dust them into pieces like pottery, just as I have authority. A good example is like Joseph. Joseph stood firm. He came to rule his brother, and he was even leader of the whole of Egypt. The same is Daniel. People plan evil and decided to worship a, a, an idol. Daniel refused, and they planned to destroy him. Finally, God glorified him in that. King Darius issued an edict. May God of Daniel be recognized. May Daniel be recognized in my kingdom. And then he keep flourishing and be in charge. He was in charge of the King Darius kingdom because of exemplary quality given by God and the nature of God. During the, those days, the, the king used to choose people. It doesn't matter whether you are Christian or a devil person. So long as you have wisdom, you are chosen to work in the king and you are taught their language. Daniel was one of them and the three Jews. God saved them and they kept luring them with an iron scepter. They were put as advisors. Another was Elijah. He was stay, left alone. He stood. He was victorious. Everybody said, let everyone worship the God of Elijah. Let the God of Elijah be God. Another was Nehemiah. He built the wall. And people recognized, surely, Nehemiah was speaking the truth. He saw a broken wall and he built it. Another one was Ezekiel. He saw dry bone and he spoke to them with an iron scepter. And the drone, bone came. And they came to life. And only it's, this bone are Christian who are stolen. To support that as we finish, we say... As we read, Isaiah 11.10, God will make you to light for people. A banner. If you are victorious, not only living holy, you will be, uh, you'll be light for them. You will shine for them. You will really help them. You see many pastors who are little pastors. They have become global and helping many to come to God. You will be build a YouTube channel and bring many. Power did not have family, was not allowed to leave other people, but Paul looked like he was in prison, but he was the one in charge. He is the one who was advising churches and people who had family, had mortgage, had money, who had billions. He was the one in charge, ruling them with an iron scepter. Believe in God. Follow God. You will not only live holy, but 
make people have life. Breathe to people who have been made dry like bones. The hope is gone. They feel like taking poison. Yes, they have mortgage. They have billions of money. I'm speaking reality. Last year, a, a doctor having a, his own hospital in Kenya, having a big clinic employed by government hospital, he killed himself and children because of lack of hope. Yet he had money. You really speak, even like power. You have power, not only in sense of belonging and fulfillment, but you have power and anointing and cover of God. And an iron scepter, power and authority of God to speak for God, to speak and stand as a banner, Isaiah 11, 10, to light, Isaiah 4, 2, to be glorious and pride of the people of the world in Jerusalem, to come to the light of God, to bring revival, to bring many to God. You may be blessed as you purpose, to know God, to hear God, to hear God. The Bible says we are lost because we don't know. May you hear God so you know, so you see like Daniel. To read the writing, to read the season for the people, to read the time for the people. Higher, higher, it is time, it is time to clean up. Hey, to read the writing, what is the season? To read what a timeline are we in? May you hear God, may you listen to God, know the seed of God. May you be blessed as you purpose to worship God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Robo Shikala, you have Vita Crown, you're always fighting for us. You're my hero and my defender, Jesus. Holla Bashika. Oh, Rabba Shikala Bayanda. Riba Shikalaba. Riba Shikalaba. Riba Shikalaba Yandi Riba Yandi Riba. Riba Shikalabo. Rabba Shika. Robo Yandi Riba Shika. Jesus, help us to walk with your life, to walk with your spirit, to hear you, Jesus. To know you, to hear you, to see you, to hear you. God, so we can drive safely. We can drive the right way we can know your sealer the bible says that uh, in the book of second corinthians uh, chapter 2 second corinthians chapter 1 second corinthians chapter 1 jesus you say from verse 21 to 22 that god you seated us you put a seal of honors in, in us uh, and you put your spirit as a depositor that show us everything uh. jesus may you are sealer may you ask to know our spirit uh. may you ask to know your sealer may you ask me ask live with your sealer Jesus power, Jesus spirit, Jesus power, Jesus spirit, Jesus seal, Jesus seal, Jesus seal, Jesus seal, Jesus power, Jesus spirit to reveal everything to us, to reveal things to come, to show us things like John the Liberator, to show us things like prophet, like Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jesus, you are seal that is made manifest. Symbol, sign by your spirit living in us. Second Corinthians 1 21 to 22. The seal of God. You own us with your seal. Your spirit is a deposit in us, revealing to us everything. We may know you, we may hear you. We may know when you are speaking to our brother and when you are not. We know when you are speaking to our pastor and when it's not you. We may know who is speaking with us uh, through you the eye for your power and spirit. Uh, Jesus, you're mighty, you're holy. Hey, Jesus, help us to know your seal in the name of Jesus. Your nature, you are the true, you are light, you have truth, you have no darkness. You speak the truth, you speak the truth, you walk with light, you are God of light, you are God of no darkness, you are God of light, you are God of light. Jesus, you are God of light. Jesus, you have no secret. You don't keep secret. You don't keep secret. You are light. In you, there is no darkness. Jesus, you are spirit. We must worship in the spirit of holiness. We must live holy to walk with you. Jesus, cover us. Oh, Rabashika. Maximum cover of Isaiah 11. Jesus, oh, Rabakalaba. Ribashika Raba. Erebe Kiribishaka. Ribashika Raba Bayanda. Oh, Rabashika Raba. Oh, Rabayandi Ribashika. Oh, Rabayandi Riba. Holy Spirit, take over. Take over, Spirit. Take over, Holy Spirit of God. Jesus, Spirit. Jesus, power. Jesus, anointing. Jesus, cover. Jesus, anointing. Jesus, cover. Jesus, Spirit. Jesus, cover. Jesus, power. Jesus, Spirit. Jesus, power. Hearing God. Still voice of God. Still voice of God. Still voice of God. Oh, Rabba Shika Rabba Bayanda. Derivance. Oh, Rabba Yanda. Oh, Riba Shiki Ribika. Riba Shika Rabba Yanda. Nothing possible with you. Jesus, sir. Jesus, sir. Oh, Rabaka. Secret, power. Holy Spirit, prayer. Work with the truth. Hearing God. Jesus, work with your spirit. 
in the name of Jesus and thank you guy who is your name who is your name riba shikara baba yandi riba shikara baba yende hey hallelujah in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah